So I'm mixing up a little bit of pollen patties here, and I'm doing it carefully. I'm not really got a clue what I'm doing, but what I'm going on is a combination of recipes. I've got um, I've just put some vegetable oil in here, some olive oil um, in proportion to what I reckon is the right one. We've got some cider vinegar gone in. Um, and in the main base of it is this B Pro or Ultra B, which I bought online a while ago. And also I'm mixing it with this fructose syrup, which is what we buy. It's 90% fructose. So I'm basically mixing up this. It's gone in really well. And also I've added uh, two lemon juice and some honey from this year. The reason why we're doing this is I don't usually do pollen patties, but I had the Bee Pro from last year that I wanted to use up. And also we've got a lot of nice breeder queens that are starting to brood. And with the weather we've had, we've had two weeks of really good pollen weather. And I want to really make sure that they don't run out of pollen. And I want these breeder queens to really profit from having um, that extra feed. So that if, if we do have a cold spell, or they, they would have slowed down, otherwise they've still got the feed to pull on. Because I just can't afford them to, to stall or to die or to, or to starve. It's just not worth it. So I'm going to mix up a little bit more liquid with this now, just to make it more of a, a thicker... But the main ingredients are mixed in. So, we're nearly there. We've got a good... I can mould this into a ball now, but I really want it just a little bit looser than that. Because I just... When I put it in, into these, uh, in between these sheets of um, paper, I want it to be a little bit looser, so when I break the sheets, when I stab the sheets in my hive tool, so I'm just going to add a little bit more water now. I'm not using anything else. A little bit more water to make it a little bit looser. But I'm going to get my camera person to add the water because otherwise I'm going to get... This is a complete mess and it's great fun to do, but I don't want to be responsible for making the kettle dirty. Tell me what this is strong. Bit more. Perfect, thank you. That's good. That's what I want. It's nearly getting there now. Because I know the bees, when they start to take this down, it's probably going to get a little bit drier, so I want to keep it on the wetter side. From all the people I've seen doing pollen sub, you don't want to start with too dry a patty. But that's why I've added the olive oil, or the vegetable oil, just to keep it moist. But I'm hoping that by doing this, it's going to be on the moist side. But this just feels lovely now. It's just going to be a bit softer. I'm going to a little bit more water and that should do it. You can see this is just about the right consistency now. It's a bit looser. It's all nice and mixed. I'm going to put a blob on each piece of paper like this, literally. Have the paper like that, a piece on like that, and a little bit more. And that'll be a good sized patty. So fold it over like that, squash it down, hive tool through the middle, and that's one patty done. It's not a lot, but it's Something as a reserve for each Conley that's high protein and they're going to take it down. What more can you do? With weather like we've got now um, and looking at this week, it's not cold, but it's certainly not very flying weather. So this is going to give the bees something to really get their teeth into. I'm hoping that the big colonies will be fine anyway. Well, I know they are. I've inspected a few yesterday and they're good. But uh, it's just the small colonies and nukes that are really precious we have to be careful of. So there we are. A lot of work just for these few patties. <laughs> so next time I think I'll be mixing them in a bigger batch, but the whole idea is this, we never usually feed pollen sub in this part of Brittany, or this part of France, I should say. And I really want to try and see this, see if it's going to make a difference. I know some years it probably would and some years it probably wouldn't, but I want to find an overall positive negative of doing it. And um, these now we just score, the cost that goes upside down on top of the, uh, on top of the colony. So I'll put these on in a minute, and then the least those breeder queens have got a good chance of never running out of anything. So at 100 bucks a queen, you don't really want to run out too much. Just popped down to my bottom shed to get some polystyrene eggs that I've made. Um, I've got different ones here. These are for the, uh, the big six-framed feeders. 
And uh, these here are for the Mini Plus. All they are is an extension in the poly, or in, sorry, extension in poly to means you can put feed in, which we always do this time of year. So these will go on first, and then the pollen sub goes on there, and then the insulator top goes back on, so they can get to it. It's a standard eek. Anyway, let's get these on. It's amazing you come outside when the sun shines between the rain and the gales. Absolutely glorious. Look at that. Blackthorn out. Wonderful. Look at the buds there. So it's all just about there. Nearly there now. A couple of slits in the top of that. Just going to fold this back. So the girls can get to it. Come on girls, out the way. There we are, look. That goes on. And we'll see what happens in a couple of days. Excellent. Lovely when you take the top off a hive and you feel the energy there from the bees they're really brooding well like these already are on well they're on these what there's breeze there two three four so they're on all five frames there so peel this back these uh pollen sub patties are actually about just a pound or just over each so a couple of scores on that straight onto the bees here we are Right over the hole, on with the eek. It's so great when you've got the material, it makes life so much easier. On back on with the poly, so it's sealed. There's a complete seal there between the top poly and the bottom eek, and then the top of this wooden, wooden nuke, but uh, it works for me. These nukes are really old, they're wood, but they're great. As long as you can keep the wood dry, they work really well. So that's our breeder queens all fed. I'm hoping that it's going to be uh, taken down well. I actually just had a peek and already there's a couple of bees gnawing at it. So I'm quietly confident. And if it turns out that they do love it and they take it down well, I think next year I'll be investing in a couple of sacks of this stuff and mixing up a huge load. Because I really think that it may just be the extra thing they need this time of the year to give them that boost to get them away. Well our daffodils are coming out and it's absolutely wonderful to see. It's been a, an interesting winter, nothing too harsh uh, and I wish all those people in places like Canada where it's still well minus 20 and they're beginning to think when's this going to end. So uh, I wish them well and uh, whatever you're doing have a good one. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.